Titanobo was a true monster among prehistoric snakes, about the size and weight of an elongated school bus, and presumably a lot less fun to ride on. On the following slides, you'll discover 10 unique facts about this 50-foot-long, 2,000-pound Paleocene menace. After the K.T. extinction 65 million years ago, wiped out all the dinosaurs. It took a few million years for terrestrial life on Earth to replenish itself, appearing during the Paleocene Epoch. Titanobo, along with an assortment of prehistoric turtles and crocodiles, was one of the first plus-sized reptiles to reclaim the ecological niches left open by the demise of the dinosaurs and marine reptiles at the end of the Cretaceous period. You might assume that the Titanic boa hunted like a modern-day boa constrictor, wrapping itself around its prey's torso and squeezing tight until its victim suffocated. In fact, though, Titanobo attacked its prey in more dramatic fashion, probably slithering close to its lunch while half submerged in the water, and then, with a sudden leap, snapping its massive jaws onto its unfortunate victim's windpipe, how the mighty have fallen, until recently, the 33-foot-long, thousand-pound gigantifies was hailed as the king of all snakes, until its reputation was eclipsed by a reptile that predated it by a whopping 40 million years, not that gigantifies was exactly a pussycat compared to titanobo, for instance. Paleontologists believe this African snake made a regular meal of the distant elephant ancestor Moritherium. Sure, Titanobo was big, but it was barely twice as long and four times as heavy as the modern-day giant anaconda, the largest specimens of which measure about 25 feet from head to tail and weigh in the neighborhood of 500 pounds, compared to most modern snakes, though, Titanobo was a true behemoth, for example. The average cobra or rattlesnake only weighs about 10 pounds and can easily fit into a small suitcase.